gonna do like a little first trimester up pregnancy update if you're new here my name's victoria i homeschool four kids this is baby number five if all goes well um i am 12 12 weeks and three 12 weeks and three days today and i read somewhere that your first trimester ends when you get to 12 weeks but i read somewhere else that your, your your second trimester begins at the end of your 12th week so i'm either about to go into my second trimester or i've already got like a little toe in the second trimester so <laughs> so first trimester update i have felt really sick <laughs> i've not actually been sick the only baby i've actually been sick was the first I lost so much weight being sick. Um, all the other pregnancies, including this one, I just feel sick. And the only thing that stops me being sick is eating. And it's got to a point where I'm sick to death of the eating. And I'm gonna. I feel sometimes I feel like I'm gonna be 40 stone before this baby's born because. But hopefully soon the sickness will go and then I can start eating normally again. Um, but with this baby, I've never ever felt so tired during a pregnancy i think yesterday it's normally in the afternoon it i'm hoping this will go away soon as well my mum said oh you're just so tired because you've got the other four kids to contend with as well but if you think about it, when i was pregnant with my second and my fourth i had a little toddler as well as i've never been this tired during a pregnancy i mean there's been there's been points where i've been pretty much i've had a night i've had a night sleep morning's been fine it's got to the afternoon because it's in the early afternoon it hits me. It got to the it gets the afternoon and I'm I'm delirious because I'm so tired. If the husband's not at work, I go to bed for half an hour or an hour. But if the husband is at work, I have to like battle through, get up and do something. If I sit down, I'll go to sleep. To get up and do something and get busy or go outside, and then I'll be all right. But I've never been this tired in a pregnancy ever. Um. I had a scan at five weeks because I'm high risk for an ectopic pregnancy. So I have had a scan. The baby was a little three millimeter <laughs> thingy with a heartbeat. So there's only one in there and it's in the right place. But I haven't had another scan since. I haven't been to the midwife. I was thinking, she only works Fridays if you want an appointment. So I was thinking, because of covid i can't take my kids with me because of covid i can't ask anybody else to have the kids for an hour my mum works on friday my husband works so i was like i'm gonna have to wait for friday when my husband isn't at work and the earliest that is is 16 weeks which means i won't get me scanned till i'm like 20 weeks which means i'll totally bypass that 12 week dating scan but then this morning i thought look i'm just gonna ring up because i keep putting it off because apart from the fact I thought I can't get an appointment because 16 weeks anyway. Um, I get hate for this. People say I'm midwife bashing. I'll link the video below if I remember. But I did a, a birth stories on here. And we have been stabbed in the back and bullied and pressured so many times by midwives. I know there are good midwives out there but I can only go to my experiences. So I was also like... Am I in a rush to see midwives? How are they going to stab me about this time? How are they going to pressure me and bully me this time? I'm going about my weight this time. But, you know, you've got to think of the baby. So I need to see a midwife. So, I thought, right, I'm just going to ring up this morning. Book the appointment for 16 weeks. So I rung up. And the receptionist was like, well, normally people come and see the midwife for the first time between eight and nine weeks. And I was like, yes and no. But how am I supposed to see the midwife? Because this whole COVID thing... I can't get in to see the midwife because I'm 16 weeks because of childcare. And, and she says, well, she can do your booking appointment on the phone. So she can do it not next Wednesday, Wednesday after on the 14th. So I'll be 13, uh, 13 and a half weeks, nearly 14 weeks. So if she's doing a booking appointment on the phone, 14, 13 weeks, I might get my scan earlier because they might usher me in for it. So as long as it's on a day my mum's off work, I can go for it. Um, 
as for telling people my mum was thrilled because my mum's amazing um people i had so many rude comments with my third kid and my fourth kid um so i was expecting them for this one i had loads loads of you know replies ready in my head for when people were rude um but people have been nice and i don't know if that's because because of covid i haven't seen people face to face i've just messaged them so they've just put like the you know oh brilliant and they'd have been a bit more cheeky in face or if they're treading more carefully because they know i lost the last one but i was thinking oh i even said in the vlog i said oh i've not no nasty comments this time but then i went to the shop the other day and this woman this woman i know vaguely come up to me she's like oh i heard you're pregnant and i says yeah and she starts but she starts saying about oh if he don't get done if he don't take his sex to me i'll do it with me me, me gardens this me garden she is and stuff like that i'm making all the you know all the jokes they do about how many kids you've got and stuff but, but, but I, don't, I don't think she thought she'd be nasty i think she thought she was funny which of course it isn't but because then i said well, I lost the last one. And she was all sorry, my duck, I didn't know. Oh, well, this one would be a rainbow baby then, won't it? She was being nice then. But isn't it a shame that I have to say I lost one for people to then be happy that I'm pregnant? With that, you know, all the snidey comments and stuff. And then and then I said to her, of course I'm pregnant again. Have you seen my husband? He's gorgeous. And she, she went, quite seriously, she went, yeah, I've seen your husband actually. He is gorgeous. <laughs> And then, but this is what I mean, I don't always think people are being nasty. I think she thought she'd be a funny because she soon backtracked when I said I lost one. And then um, around Easter, we saw a couple that were making fun about how my husband needs a vasectomy and stuff. But I didn't say anything because this is a couple who had a loss and they can't have any now. That, that's, that's it. God shut the door on that one, they can't have any. Um, so they're either jealous or they're they're covering up hurt with what they think is humor so it's the people aren't always being nasty so um what else oh a woman who lives over the back told her i was pregnant and it was so my boss didn't stay. she smiled and it was like a really big genuine warm smile and she said congratulations and and, and i was so touched because people don't do that unless it's your first people don't do that and i says to her, oh that's lovely you've done that because now nobody just smiles and says congratulations apart from my mum and she was like well if anybody reacts any differently they weren't brought up very well i was like well and yeah and this is a woman who's only got one kid she hasn't she doesn't want any more kids she's a completely different mindset to me and she was still pleased when we said congratulations it was just lovely because that never happens it was just lovely we still not told my mother-in-law husband doesn't want to tell her because 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 she'll be offensive about it <laughs> i think what i'll do is when i do finally have my scan if all's well i mean if everything's not well we'll just not tell her but because she's not be bothered anyway but if everything is well i'll send her a scan picture and then she knows don't she but we've sent it by post so we don't have to listen to it um my grandma knows I'm pregnant. I wrote her a letter and she wrote a very nice one back congratulating me. I'll send her a scan picture as well. My mum will want one. And I want one. Um, I'm trying to think there's anything else to say. Because it is early days, isn't it? Um, I, the other day I was convinced it was a boy. But with our third child i was absolutely convinced he was a boy and he was a boy but with our fourth which is our only girl because we've got three boys and then a girl with our fourth i kept thinking it was a boy not sure thinking it was a boy not sure and i'm like that with this one so it could go either way and that's all i've got to say i'll do another update on my second trimester all being well i know i keep saying all being well but you didn't know do you and i've not actually had a scan yet since my five week scan but i keep feeling a ticking by my belly button which i know is the baby or something going on with the baby and uh, what's interesting is my first child pudge i was in my my mum's fella's car 
and he was driving dead fast and playing playing like boy race music like boom 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 and um the baby would tick 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 by the belly button dead you know and he likes that kind of music now this baby the tick 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 by the belly button seems to be triggered by food <laughs> we had a sunday dinner easter sunday and the baby was tick 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 so um and i know people say you can't possibly feel that baby this is my fifth i know what it is um i'll show you a bump shot but only if you'll see it where the camera is I, i'm a big gal anyway so you can't see oh yeah i can tell my belly's bigger but i don't think anybody else can just yet so i'll give you an update on my second trimester and all if so you want to ask me then put it in comments because it's bound to be something i forgot <laughs> 